This is the PPC Tutor Podcast. Join us as we provide valuable tools, tips and resources, helping you to kickstart your PPC career. Hi, thanks for joining me in this episode. I want to talk about a very important topic. A lot of people set up Google Ads and they run their campaigns, but they make one big mistake they don't set up conversion tracking or they don't set it up properly and it takes weeks and months and then they realize um, they're not getting the data that they need to effectively manage their campaigns so they find that some time down the line they find that their conversion tracking is working so what is conversion tracking this is basically a way to track any actions that are important for your business. So if you're selling products that includes uh, tracking when people purchase on the website, or if you are looking for leads, tracking when people use your booking form, contact form, or maybe it's a download, anything like that that's important for your business. In fact, when you set up Google Ads, one of the things you're going to do in your campaigns is you're going to write your ad your ad text and in there you're going to have to put a call to action so that could be purchasing that could be downloading inquiring any action that's important for your business or your organization so that action is what people are coming to your website for and you know even if it's a call and you want people to call from the ads that's an action that you need to track and you need to be able to see which campaigns, which ads, which keywords are driving your conversions and how they are performing for you. But if your tracking is not working, you've tried everything and you're still struggling with it, there are usually a few things that will cause it. And I just want to talk about some of those things. And I believe one of the first ones is that you probably haven't installed the tracking code. You haven't installed it on the thank you page or the confirmation page that people arrive on and see um, you know when they've completed whatever action that you want them to complete so you need to be able to take your tracking code so if you set up conversion tracking google ads you have an option to take that code and put it in the html in the head section to be able to track, you know, whatever action it is that you want people to take. So if that's something you've maybe missed out, then you definitely need to go in and do it. Or if you've got a web developer, they can easily do that for you. Now, if you're doing Google um, Analytics tracking instead, you know, Google Analytics has got a slightly different way of tracking conversions. Within there, you will use goals. Now, obviously, Google is updating Google Analytics and there's there's a new Google Analytics 4 that's out and we're not going to be using goals and so on with that one. It's mostly based on event tracking. But at the moment, you can still set up goals and then import those into your Google Ads account. Now, With the goal tracking, you won't need to add any additional tracking code because once you've got your um, Google Analytics tracking on the website, across the website, all you need to do is set up your goal and then specify whatever your confirmation page or your thank you page is. But if you're doing conversion tracking in Google Ads, you will need to check that code and then put it on the thank you page, the confirmation page, whatever page that they get to when they've completed that action. So to set up those conversions, obviously you go to tools and settings in your Google Ads account and then go to conversions and then follow the instructions in there to set up your conversion tracking and so forth. So that's one of the reasons why conversion tracking is not working sometimes and it's possible that you haven't added the code so you need to check that and check you've added it in the right place you know check that it's firing and do some tests your web developer will help you out with that sometimes you know there could be something another reason sometimes something to do with 
the site itself, maybe the way it's built. Speak to your developer and find out, you know, if there's anything that's preventing that. Most any developer can help you with that and they will help you to fix it successfully so that's really key so you know some websites are not built properly you know um, they were not structured in the right way maybe you built it years ago or something like that and it's, it's not working for you there are also some platforms that are harder to track so there are some platforms where it's hard to track conversion tracking a lot of people struggle with shopify but shopify does provide details and how you can set up your tracking so that you can track those sales because especially if you're selling online that's really critical you know you, you need to be able to see which of your ads your keywords are driving those conversions so speak to your developer and find out if they can help you with that shopify is you know it's it's one of those turnkey easier platforms to manage you probably manage it yourself or if, if you're using WordPress and you are using WooCommerce or something like that, there are options in there to set up your tracking code and to be able to see how it works. I, I believe they offer helpful help articles. So if you do a search on Google, they'll be able to uh, show you that and, and see how it's working. Another thing that causes conversion tracking not to be working. I mentioned Google Analytics. So if you're using goal tracking or you're using event tracking or even the Google Tag Manager, you can track that fine in Google Analytics and that's perfect and you'll be able to see that. But you still need to be able to import those goals or that conversion tracking into your Google Ads account to be able to see that in google ads so the first thing obviously is you're going to need to link your google ads and your google analytics accounts and you can do that in admin in your google analytics account and link those and then set up your goals and your events whether you're using the old uh, universal analytics or you're using google analytics for so once you've set up those goals and that tracking you can then go into your Google Ads account and then go to Tools and Settings and then import those. There's an option in there to import those uh, goals and those events. And then in your reports, in, in your campaign reports, in your keyword reports, search terms reports, you can see which of those are bringing you those conversions. Because without this information, you, you, you're just flying blind you know you you've got no idea what's working for you so conversion tracking is a critical part and a lot of people don't set it up properly another challenge that people have now this one tends to be a challenge if you don't have like a thank you page or confirmation page so when someone fills out a form it just comes up with a message in line that just says thank you we've received and we'll get back to you, you know, something like that. So that tends to be harder because you don't have a thank you page. So you can't really set up that conversion tracking or goal tracking. But you can set up event tracking when people click submit. And Google Analytics 4, the new one, helps you do that. Even if you're using Google Tag Manager, you can track all of that. And that's really effective, you know. So get someone with experience in Google Tag Manager or get someone with experience in Google Analytics 4. There, there's help articles in there. It's not hard to learn. You can do it for yourself. So you, you can really, if you just go through it, you'll be able to set that up and track those events when people fill the form, uh, maybe they want to book and then click submit and so on. For example, you tend to find some people have a, a calendar system on their site. So it, it when they're filling out and they're wanting to sign up or whatever, it takes them off the website. So it then becomes hard to track that. So using event tracking will be an effective way to track that. So those are some of the main reasons why your tracking is working. There are probably a few more, but... You know, if you check that out and set it up correctly, you will really have the data that you need to really manage your comes, your campaigns. This is critical. You know, a lot of people get 
conversion tracking wrong and they just manage campaigns and they're not doing it effectively and they're not getting the results that they need. I hope that has been helpful. Reach out to me if you've got any questions in the description. Check out my website and I'll be happy to help you out with any tracking and management help that you need. Thanks for listening to another episode of the PPC Tutor Podcast. To find out more, why not connect with us online by visiting our website at www.mikenq.co.uk. Join us again next time for more valuable tools, tips and resources helping you to kickstart your PPC career.